Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. All right, here's the deal. Ever since buzzing my hair, I have wanted to try different colors, fun colors, pastel colors, but I work a regular job Monday through Friday and I don't think they really want me showing up with, you know, pink hair. So it was brought to my attention from a friend that, you know, there's temporary hair color that is supposed to wash out in one wash. So I have four different kinds. I have two waxes, I have a gel and I have a cream and we're gonna try all four. These are the things I'm testing and looking for. One, I want to have one that feels good and looks good. I kind of don't really know like how the textured wax thing will look on my buzzed hair, but we're gonna find out. Number two, I want to see how they are like if I slept in it. So I'm kind of picturing that I would do this for like a Saturday, Sunday thing. So I want to know that if I sleep in it Saturday night that it's not gonna like get all over my pillow and all over my stuff and I guess transfer my clothes too. Number three is actually testing does it truly wash out in one wash? Is it going to stain my hair? Am I going to have any kind of leftover residue showing that I had color in my hair when I go to work during the week? So yeah, wanting to see that it actually shampoos out. Another thing I might test, depending on the way these colors come out, I think they all are kind of vibrant and I really like pastel colors. So I don't know how this would work, but I might try mixing them with conditioner and see if that works. The conditioner to lighten it, but I don't know what that does for like the temporary vibe or drying. We're gonna find out what happens when you mix temporary color with conditioner. I'm testing a pink wax, a purple wax, a blue wax that I'm really counting as a gel, and a holographic cream. Okay. So we're starting with our pink wax today. I don't really know what I'm doing. I also don't wanna get this on my scalp. It smells very perfumey. I mean, it smells, it smells nice. Okay. It talks about rubbing it in your palms, but then getting it on your fingers. So I'm just gonna rub it on my fingers. I ended up deciding the best way to do this was to flatten the wax all over my hair like I'm doing here. And once the hair was covered, taking a comb and combing against the grain of the hair like you'll also see here. The combing helped break up the wax to look a little more natural and less styled. Okay, way, way different in this lighting. Whoa, <laughs> my ear is pink, so I should probably clean that up. All right, color number one. We're gonna see how it dries. I got a little on my scalp, but I think that's in the beginning I was like rubbing it in and I think that kind of messed that up. Okay, this is about an hour later. I kind of wanted to get on camera again because I was watching back the first one and I feel like it looked real shiny. I think because I had just done it and so it was kind of wet. So I think it looks less shiny than it was before. I'm trying to determine if I think like if someone saw me in the street, would they be like, oh, she has pink hair? Or would they be like, that's fake? <laughs> like does, does my temporary color look temporary? I feel like that kind of transfers if you touch it. Not sure how that's gonna look when I sleep on it. Okay, I just woke up the next day and here is the answer <laughs> to if it will rub off on other clothes and things while you sleep. The answer is yes. I just woke up, so I look a little crazy, but I just wanted to see, even though it uh, transferred to my pillow a lot, it's not like it rubbed off. My hair doesn't look crazy, right? I can still rock this today. I kind of pictured because of the wax that it would be like sticking up in different areas today, but no, not really. I don't know. I guess I can do it. All right. Pink is washed out. Washed out easily. I'm going to do the purple now. I'm like 99% sure this is like the same manufacturer. Different, mm, different smells, different scents. These are like literally, even the box that it came in just had different words, but they both had like gold boxes, I think. So I'm pretty sure I'm trying the same product. I will say this purple one smells more like a, a cologne, like a, a men's cologne where the other one was more like a perfume. I think I like the pink one, the pink scent better. All right, 
right here is the purple. Well, regardless off the bat, I just do not like this color. <laughs> this is not the color for me. Overall, I just don't like vibrant colors on myself anyways. I like the more muted and pastel colors. So uh, pastel, lavender type purple would be much better. I feel like the pink one yesterday was was more muted. It was It was a little bit lighter. It was still like bright, but it was light at the same time. You know what I'm saying? This one is just loud. Very, very loud. No one the color for me. But we'll see how it wears. We'll see if it gets on clothes, pillow, whatever. I'm pretty sure it will because, again, I'm pretty sure it's the same manufacturer as the pink one. It is the next morning and, um, I mean, it, you know, it lasts if you did want to wear it overnight. It's just like the pink one. It will get on your stuff. But, yeah. Trying the blue today. Technically, this is wax. It's labeled as wax, but I'm kind of referring to this as a gel. It low key might be the same consistency as the other ones. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's kind of the same. <laughs> I just figured it was in, the, in a bottle like this, and then the reviews say it dries like a gel, but we'll see. I already know I'm not gonna like this color. It's gonna be too bright, just like the purple. This one kind of tastes, taste, Lord have mercy. This one kind of smells like Maybe soap. It's a light and refreshing. It's better than the purple one. I definitely like it in the jar better than this because what are you supposed to do? You get it on your hands and now we have to get more out of the bottle and now you have a hot mess. So that's dumb. So here's the blue. The texture ended up being very similar to the first two I tried so I was calling this a gel but it's not really a gel, it's like a wax. But yeah, applied very similarly. And now we'll see how it wears. Okay, I am not going to sleep in this because I already know it's gonna get on everything. Here's just some toilet paper. Then just touching it, it turns blue. So, and because it's a very similar texture, I expect that as the other ones, it visually looks fine the next morning. So I don't think this would be any different, but. Um, but yeah, it will transfer when you touch it on stuff. So overall, it's very similar to the other ones. So last one that I have to try, it is one I'm most excited to try. I think because one, it's different. It's a cream and it claims that it's holographic in color. So let's see. That is going straight to my scalp. Like the wax <laughs> sat on top of my hair. But that is literally on my scalp. Let me see if I can brush through it like I can with the... Oh no. I kinda wanna start over somehow. Wait, how do you do this? Okay, I'm doing a little better I think, but you have to do that very carefully. But now when I get it off my scalp, I don't know, can you tell on the camera how crazy that looks i literally just painted my scalp and that's it oh, okay all right i think i think i got it off this one's gonna be hard it smells pretty good it smells like a just like a fresh hair product a shampoo It's kind of cool. Can you tell? It's just like I'm trying, <laughs> trying to go at different angles so to see it shimmery. So yeah, it's more of like a shimmer kind of, but it is kind of cool. Um, weird to put on. The cream was definitely hard to put on a buzz cut, but I like the vibe. I think. I like that it's kind of subtle. Hmm. All right, I just woke up. I don't, you can't, I don't think you can even see it anymore. I think it's gone. <laughs> it does kind of transfer. Like if I, like last night, if I would like touch it, your, my hand would be kind of shiny, but it's so light in color. It's not like a major thing. The pillow I slept on last night is kind of like a mustard yellow color. And so you can't, 
you can't see anything. Again, maybe if you slept on a white pillow, maybe you'd have unicorn colors on your pillow. But so yeah, I think it probably depends on the color of what your what it gets rubbed against. But. As a fun side little bonus, I want to try mixing conditioner with a temporary color. Why? Because I want to see if I can make them pastel for the bright ones. But will it work? We're gonna find out. So I'm gonna put my conditioner in first. And just a kind of a little because like it's just it just needs to be enough to cover my short little hair and then i'm gonna put a tiny bit of purple in and try to mix this in slowly okay that's what i've come up with <laughs> i feel like you can't see anything at all Okay, I'm adding more purple to it. Okay, I made that a little bit darker. I don't know if you can tell. Okay, that is darker on my hair. Okay, I mean, the pastel effect worked. It's not as bright as it was. Um, yeah, I guess the biggest thing to figure out is how this is going to last today. Is it going to dry? I assume it's going to transfer if I touch it on stuff because the purple itself transfers. So um, I don't think I'll, I probably won't try to sleep in this, but I will give you an update on what this is looking like and feeling like in a couple hours. So, this is hours later, like four to six hours later or something. Yeah, it dried nice. I, it worked way better than I expected that it would. I think it does transfer a little bit, but again, that's because the purple did in the first place. So my hands are just like a little shimmery when I do this. But, yeah. Yeah, I think that's a, a hack that works if you want to lighten the color of your temporary wax thumbs up okay i'm going to be going over my final thoughts and pricing for all four of the products that i reviewed and at the very end i'm also going to explain an app that i use that pretty much got me 22 dollars off to cut the price way down so the first three that i reviewed the purple the pink and the blue essentially the this is the same product like they're all wax they all had a very similar texture. They all kind of have a, a shimmer to them in a way. They wear very similarly. Like if you slept in them overnight, they would get on your pillow, but they would also pretty much look the same the next day. Like it wouldn't rub off to where it's no longer on your hair. So it's kind of long lasting as far as being like a temporary color, but they also all easily wash out. It doesn't stain your hair. Once you go to shampoo it, it comes off completely. Main difference between all of these are price point and scent. For the pink one, this was the most expensive, listed at $12.98 on Amazon. Probably was my favorite though for the scent, which the scent again is a little perfumey, so if you like hate perfumes, it might not be a scent for you, but I personally liked it the best out of all of them, even though it was the most expensive, unfortunately. And then they all of these come in different colors, so I just tried a different, you know, one color per brand. But yeah, if I wanted to try other colors, I would probably get this one because I like this one the best. The purple one I tried is listed on Amazon for $9.99. And this one, because of the scent, is probably my least favorite. It smelled kind of like cologne, but not like a cologne I would want my man wearing. So yeah, didn't love the scent. But mixing it with conditioner, one made me like the color better. Again, the bright purple is just too much for me. Um, but I liked it mixed with the conditioner and I think it kind of helped the scent mixing it with conditioner. It didn't smell as strong when I mixed it. The blue one is one of the less expensive ones. It's listed on Amazon for $4.99. Um, the scent was pretty nice. It was very, kind of smelled like soap, but it was like a, it wasn't as strong of a scent. One thing I don't like about this one is that it's in the bottle. I discovered that that made it more messy because you're rubbing it on your hands to put it in your hair and then when you need to get more, now I have blue hands that I'm having to like touch the bottle to squeeze out more so then that there was blue all over my bottle and now I'm trying to lay it on my counter. Like that was just too much. I like the jars better for that because you didn't have to touch the outside. You can just leave it on the counter, scoop out your hair wax. Also again, for me personally, this color is way too bright. Did not like 
that bright blue on me, but mixing it, I assume it would mix with conditioner the same as the purple one. And so if I use this again in the future, I would definitely be mixing it with conditioner just to make it more pastel for myself. And the last one was the holographic one. This one is listed on Amazon for $6.97, but then when you go to check out, it had the option to like save and subscribe or whatever, which you can cancel later if you don't wanna do that. And also on top of that had a coupon code. So just like a click here and clip the coupon type thing. So I remember the exact price, but it was less than $4. It was $3 and some change, which made it way more worth it. This bottle is so tiny. I wouldn't wanna pay $7 for this tiny bottle normally to compare it to the other bottle. This big blue bottle was 4.06 fluid ounces. This is one fluid ounce. So for girls with bust hair, this will cover your whole head and you'll still have more. For girls that have regular length hair, they specifically promote this as being for like streaks or like tips, um, just pieces of your hair. It smelled nice. For buzzed hair, it was kind of hard to put on. You had to put it, be very light to your touch to make sure you weren't just putting it directly onto your scalp. I found it easier to put the wax on without getting it on my scalp versus the cream just kind of went straight through. And then the cream is definitely not as long lasting. Again, they're, they don't promote that. They say right on the bottle, it's a one day color. But yeah, the wax is definitely more long lasting than the cream. But the holographic color was really pretty. It's really subtle and just cool and different and just kind of give you a little shimmer. So I did really like this color a lot. The color is really fun. And then I mentioned how I had a gift card to go towards it. That was from using an app called Get Upside. And essentially, it's an app that gives you cash back for purchasing items that you're already purchasing. So the main thing I use it for is buying gas. Obviously, I have to buy gas. That is a purchase that I'm always gonna have. And this is not sponsored, by the way, like at all. This is just something that I've been using for probably like a year and a half now. I'll put on the screen what my exact lifetime amount of what I've earned cash back for, but I think it's around $100. So not like a way to really make a huge extra income but again that's a hundred dollars that i've gotten back of stuff that i already had to pay for gas so yeah you basically can go in the app see what's around you for gas stations it also has a lot of like fast food places and it will tell you how much cash back you get for gas it's usually something per gallon but yeah you basically just say okay that's the gas station i'm going to and then you just buy your gas and then depending on the gas station you're at, it'll either have you take a picture of your receipt or sometimes it automatically uploads based on the card that you're using. So it's really easy to use. Again, it's something that you're already having to purchase and then it's just adding up slowly to your cash back. And then when you want to cash out, there's tons of gift cards you can choose from or you can even cash it out directly to your PayPal and just actually get cash back. Yeah, when I, went, I knew I was buying stuff on Amazon, I was like, oh, let me see what I have built up in my Get Upside app. And I had $22 that I could cash out on. So I did that right to an Amazon gift card. I think this would have been around $36 for all my stuff. And so with the gift card, it was like $13. So yeah, just a little tidbit. If, you like, if you're like me and you like saving money and getting extra money. Um, yeah, I'll put my link below. It's Again, it's not sponsored, but it's like any of those apps where it's like invite your friends and they get bonus whatever and you get bonus whatever. So yeah, if you're interested in that, I'll put my link below. So you can get a bonus of extra money when you do your first purchase. I also have all the temporary colors that I purchased. I have those linked below too in case you were interested in those. So, But I think that is it for today. So thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.